over. That's an experience. Every time. Right into your lungs. Right Take into your head. Into your lungs. We have such a cool episode today, folks. Mm. We have so, we have been so pumped about this episode. Oh my god. Uh, and if, if I can be honest, here's how much we love you. I I was feeling like shit. Boo boo. Complete dung. Dungus. Fecal matter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was feeling like garbage. I've been sick, but you know what? I I, I was talking to the I was talking to the boys. I was Lads. talking to my boys. That's right. And I said, "We're uh, no, we're gonna do it. Uh, it's fine. We're gonna do it." Uh, and uh, you know, the bread engineer <laughs> over there was like, "Hey, just just pull your balls. Pull your balls out, okay? Hey. Grab grab it." <laughs> Grab him. Did you get old White engineer knuckle knowledge? It. Yeah, he, yeah, I did. You got dude. old engineer knowledge where he puts his arm around his shoulder. He's like, hey, let me tell you something. So sometimes you just got to grab him, squeeze him, That's and right. go do your shit. Okay, boy. When you feel a little pain, sometimes it just gets you, you going. Just gotta, you just got to rock through the no, pain. No, the, the truth is I just said, hey, we can reschedule. <laughs> yeah, you did, but you know what? So here, I'll tell you what happened. <clears throat> Here's what happened. And tapes went. That's impossible. That's impossible. No. The, the truth, the truth is, I actually, I went to my doctor. <clears throat> I went to Doctor West. Uh, Doctor West. West. Yes, hi, I'm Doctor West. We believe in our brand out and here. And Doctor West said, "Yeah, well, you're sick." And I said, "You know what? Fuck, dude, I don't want to be sick. I want to be better." So he said, "You know what? Um, <laughs> I have, I have a suggestion for you. I have this book uh, by." We're a, getting taped. No, you're not. We're just, getting taped. Would you listen? Taped. Would you stop? <laughs> this is tapes time. The taping. <laughs> <laughs> I have a book to recommend to you. Oh. Uh, by by an author. His name is uh, Schleck Weiner. Uh, Schleck Weiner. So, yeah, Schleck Weiner. He wrote this Weiner. book. Yeah. yeah. Uh, old... Called the Decimation Cleanse. Right. Okay. And so <laughs> it's this awesome thing. I got this book. I took it home. I started doing it. Guys, this is the shit. If you feel sick. If you have no sword, if you have no axe, if your lodestone is dull, <laughs> you go pick yourself up a copy of Schleck Weiner's Schleck Decimation Weiner. Cleanse. All right, so here's what goes on. It's all about, uh, he calls them uh, harmful particulates. It's getting those harmful particulates out of your body. You got to send them forth like the fucking exorcist, dude. So what you do, your temperature, you constantly keep it at 85 to 90 degrees. You never cool down. Hot, hot, hot. All right? No food. <laughs> No food. Wait, only, wait, 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 wait. No, wait, 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 wait. 85 to 95 degrees? That's, that's, that's cool. All the time. Hot. The body temperature is... <laughs> no, not enough. your body. Your, your, your external temperature, dude. Does oh. a book Always. come with a pair of very comfy, Listen, puffy pants? All right. 85 to 90 degrees. Very important. Always hot. Always sweaty. No food. <laughs> you do not eat. You only drink lukewarm prune water. This is the that's the diet. Lukewarm prune water. Uh, you, you do tempid... Ham eye masks. <laughs> and what those are going to do is that... Wait, wait, tempid? Tempid, tempid. ham eye masks. What's a tempid? T- tempid. Tempid it's, is it's, like... It's, it's, it's when, it's a, like when someone warm. gets really mad. It's Me. like lukewarm. No, it's like... Uh, tepid? Yeah, like, tepid. Sorry, like tepid. Like, <laughs> like a sea witch. <laughs> you do tepid ham eye masks. And what you get that, a sea witch what to the bring, ham, give you What the ham jobs. is going to do is it's going to... The nitrates are going to suck the excess water out of your brain. So what's that? What's that gonna do? Is it's gonna take those harmful particulates that are oozing up your eye sockets and your nostrils. It's gonna suck that right out. It's gonna suck that weakness out of your body into the ham. You just toss that ham. You don't need it anymore. Next, no the sleep. Leeches. You no need sleep. leeches. You keep moving. Get your bucket of leeches. Eighty degrees. <laughs> Lukewarm prune water. Ham eye mask. And you keep moving. And you just gotta keep walking. You keep the inhibitors out. I now here's the thing. This workout is great. Doctor Schleckweiner. He did a great job. Uh, but I added my own little secret ingredient to this. And uh, uh, Inks over here will attest to this. I added a constant workout. So you, oh what you do, God. one hand. <laughs> Holy shit. One hand always has a beer. <laughs> I'm getting taken. It doesn't matter if you're sick. You're always drinking a beer. Oh, and you're baby. always working out hard. Damn. All right? You just mm. got to pump the hot weakness That's right what... out of you. you. You realize if anyone <laughs> listens to this and actually does it and, and causes yeah. themselves bodily harm, Again, you, you are to blame. No, guys. You no, heard this on Pinterest. I'm not. Schleck Weiner. Schleck Weiner. Schleck Weiner. <laughs> you can find. Just, you got to scroll down. Yeah. You got to scroll down on Google past all the I'm jail. about to ding you, dude. Dude, all and, the jail stuff. Scroll Go past it. Find Schleckweiner. He's in there. He's got a big, like, kind of terrorist beard. He's sitting in jail. Schleckweiner. Because because his 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 thoughts were ahead of their time. 
Here's the thing. Listen. Not that anybody died. I think if you type in Schleck Weiner, you get some weird German porn eating. star. Guys, listen. All right. These guys are non believers. Type in I'll Schle- tell you all about listen. putting ham on your eyes. <laughs> yeah. And for part two, we will construct a nice veal for you to Ty- push. Type in Schleck Weiner. Constantly. I, yeah, push I tell the you what. veal. I tell you what. I feel like a used condom. But I look like a diamond in a cat's asshole, okay? You that's do. that's the truth. You look like a beautiful <laughs> diamond. I am the shining meow, okay? <laughs> that's, that's, I call forth the shining <laughs> meow. <laughs> that's a cat turd you will pick Dude, up. Dude, that is a... So anyway, that's... You digging make. through it, sifting. Yeah. That's my sickness story. You know, of course, I'm, I'm here. I'm drinking hot coffee. I know I'm sick, but... I'm doing the right thing. I'm drinking hot coffee. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, got to have that too. All the time. All right. So I don't want to take up too much more time because I really want to get into the episode. I do have one more thing. So episode four. Episode four. I have something I have to correct. This is why I oh, love really? this shit. This is, I, I want to correct. You have a... you have a. Uh, I foibled. I foibled a lot. We all have. So just so you guys know. Foibles. If you're just listening or, or you're jumping in, uh, we're not historians. Tape we don't have uh, degrees at... Mont Mont C uh, Art History University. No, but we did get the two week uh, correspondence uh, certificate from Doctor Schleff Weiners. Schleff Weiners. Schleff Weiners. I didn't get that certificate. We, we are able to now starve and Listen, keep people hot I'm, all the time. Brengineer, and stick meat legally. <laughs> Brengineer, I think a hot ham eye mask would do you some wonders. hot. Uh, this is a great diet. This is a great uh, treatment after the holidays because you can yeah, use hot turkey. Hot t- well. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Go back to it. Episode four. Uh, so you will recall there was a certain eggplant over a cover called Dinosaur Warriors. Oh, baby. Oh, so, baby. Tight. Don't take me back. Don't take me back I'm right now. I'm taking you back. I'm taking, oh I'm taking my you God. back. So, no. So Dinosaur Empire, I brought that up too. Now, what Dinosaur I said, Empire. I said Dinosaur Empire was an awesome cover done by Nicholas Janeshig, who did Dinosaur Warriors. Rongo! Rongo fucking Congo Bongo, bro! <laughs> Badongo. Wrong! And I love that. I love that I was wrong. I figured it out. Why? Because because that's awesome. I just, I love the fact that we're, we, we're going to do this. You know, we're, I, I tried really hard to, to get all the information. What, what, what I went wrong, Nicholas Janeshig did do art for that book, but he did the inner inserts. He didn't do the cover. The cover was done by a one um, Wayne Barlow. Um, Wayne, Wayne Barlow. Hey, Wayne Barlow here. Oh, hey, there. I just like to do covers sometimes. Mostly I like to uh, draw yeah. uh, 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 bottomless uh, leather men. But That's uh, right. Bottomless leather men. Sometimes I also do dinosaurs. That's right. I, I, just, <laughs> I just sit in my basement all fucking day so, yeah, and stare at the wall. I, I wanted to correct this because, you know, we're gonna, we're, you guys are gonna give us this stuff. We're gonna figure this out, but I think it's important to bring validation to the right artist. That's right. So the cover Sorry, of Dinosaur Barlow. Empire, Wayne Barlow. Uh, Wayne, he's, he's done a few things that were kind of cool. He did uh, the Fafford and the Gray Mauser Saga edition. Ooh, yeah. So this, I've never seen this before. If you have this, oh, send me a fat picture. But it's all the books. It's all the books in one thing, Brendan. Wayne, I must one. Find this. Fafford and Gray Mauser. We're not doing it now. Great shit. Uh, but, and this is, this is why I, 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 this is like, it is all connected. The cover cest is so hard, but here it is. He also did a cover for a book called Soul Catcher. Soul Catcher. Soul Catcher. And if you know, Soul Catcher Dude, was done fun. by an author known as... Frank Herbert. Frankie. Herbert. Yeah. Wait. Native what's, son. What's, what is that? Ooh, what, what's that what do smell? I smell? What do I, mm. is that, is that the mm. smell of, of It's on sticks? the desert winds. Ooh, yes. Ooh, I see a hot sun. Oh, what is that? What is that rising mist behind me of steam? It is. The planet is Arrakis, also known as June. I must not fear, for fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear, I will permit it to pass over me and through me. And when it has gone past, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. Where the fear has gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on hollowed ground now. We're to the meat. We're we are to the meat and potatoes. Sacred, 
Schleck territory. Wiener, take a back seat. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna give you the ultimate meat in the face, and that's Dune. Yeah, we're gonna give you the we're gonna <laughs> we're, we're gonna give you the spittle on the face. <laughs> Just a little. Oh my god. Just a little spittle. Oh my goodness. And I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is our first legacy episode. Yeah, uh, these are just going to be a deep dive into one subject, and that subject is Dune covers. Dune covers. I'm going to tell you what brought this on. Dune Deluxe Edition cover. It tell me is the word. Incredible. Tell me. It's so great. It's 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 an experience. If you can get your hands on this cover, do it, folks. I'm going to leave it there for now because I want to start with the first artist to do Ever. Dune this artwork. This is the first. Now, is this, this the first Dune book? This is No, this is the serials. Oh, This go. is back in the serials. This is Serial Day. If you don't know, Dune was originally put out as a serial. I was going to try and put a cigarette yeah, on you for that. No, You're, you were no, covered. No, He's, this not guy's, the first book, but you can't. shit ready. Nah, I got my Dune abs out. Actually, I got a Dune keg more like it. He's got but it. If you want to know why the worms have three flaps, if you're a three flapper like me, I'm a three flapper myself. This is all thanks to the first time I ever saw a dune worm. It was a three flapper. It was a three flapper. It's, Every time I, I see anything the three flapper. different, uh, three flapper. I, yeah, the four flaps is fine, but this That's is what the ladies call me. They this call is me the John. Three <laughs> hey, brother. Hey, My first girlfriend screamed. Yeah, it's She'd not, never seen a, nothing a three to be, nothing flapper. To be, yeah, nothing to be proud of, bro. <laughs> Yeah, you might want to keep that on wraps, bro. <laughs> I got a three problem. Flap. Yo, hey, three fra- flaps back again. Hey, hey, here's the thing. I, yeah. I have a syndrome. It's called her, her yeah. spurt. Well, it's you when know, you got a three flapper. <laughs> you know who's proud of drawing three flaps? That's John. <laughs> I, I, God, John. I hope I'm saying your your last name right. Schroin hair. Schroin hair. Schroin hair. This man yeah. was the first to give us a look at Dune. I and love he the three did flappers. A bang up job. Look at the sand. He did a fucking look at bang the, up look job. Look at the sand coming off. How the do you worm, draw does sand? Does it? it doesn't make sense. It's like water. I don't understand <laughs> water. water. I don't understand What's fucking water? sand. Yeah, this 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 is done 1964. This stuff is done. Nineteen sixty-four. That's sixty-four. Look at this fucking Whoa. good ass artwork. Dude, look at that. Fremen. And again, again, folks, look at the go to our website and you can follow along with us. I put these links up so you can see exactly what we're looking at. You know, what I love. I love. Sorry, real quick. I love Talk the soulless it. void. So, a lot of the worms later on in the book editions, you get because because Frank uh, describes them. They have this furnace burning inside. Oh, of it's so clear. Cool. Almost like a, a sorcerer. Oh, I love but, it. I got to say, I really love when the worms are just this black, soulless void. It's yeah. just really terrifying. It makes them look just not real. Do not go quietly into that dark night. Do yeah, not check, go. It, I mean, look at uh, this is a third image on this link that I've got going on. And this is a oh. straight on. How, these are all Obi-Wan the, I thought there were only two serials. No. These yeah, are, so, these are so all Dune, the, Dune the artwork was from first, the Mac was Start first uh, serialized in analog, right? Um, yeah. And it was done in... Hey, analog, uh, bro. They have they have uh, digital books. Yeah. No, analog yeah. magazine. Oh. Back and, in, the, um, back in the, the, the 60s? I don't do computers. Yeah. So it was released in uh, <laughs> in eight parts, right? So these yeah. these images came with the release of that. Oh, claws okay. out. Claw! Ooh, we got the claw. We got the claw, folks. Which... Uh, uh, Analog at the time was uh, run by J.W. Campbell. He was like the editor. Oh, oh nice. I, you're talking about a company. No. Analog is a magazine. It's a magazine. Oh, it's a yeah. magazine. So, so uh, John W. Campbell, <laughs> just, like book, just to throw this back already. there, just to throw this uh, yeah. uh, back to other episodes, uh, was... Uh, oh, cover connection. Wrote Who Goes There. <gasps> Oh, which became the thing, wow. the thing, the nut, the, the thing, the cest, oh, the cesting. We got it. We got to talk the about the thing later. But I mean, just look at these images. Look at the the ro- the orna- Dude, look at the thopters. Dude, you know this guy I waiting to hook a worm. Oh, wait, go there. Look he at is. the Baron. Yes, the yes, Baron. yes, yes. Look at the Baron. This spittle, is such spittle, a spittle, great spittle. Baron. He's got the fucking oh, biggest cocktail. Dude. This is white girl drunk yes. cocktail. <laughs> that dude, is, that is that is that is that is a sure thing you know, cocktail. This, he, he's got four. Look he's at, got four kids in his gut. This he's yeah. waiting to be born. This Baron is staring in the eyes and yeah. saying, "I'm gonna sedate you later." Uh, if you can <laughs> look at, if you want to talk about soulless void, look at those eyes. Yes. Yeah, oh, guys, yeah. can you imagine? 
Can you imagine that actor playing the Baron? Oh, I can. It puts, actually, it puts hey. a little spittle yeah. on your face. A little spittle <laughs> for you. Um, <laughs> oh, I love that one. Be- beautiful thing. Oh, beautiful, fade. beautiful thing. Um, I mean, these, these images. When I saw these images, I, I I had to double check because I was like, "There's no way these are from 1960 fucking four. And Dude, these, it doesn't. Because it doesn't. it's been, unreal. There's been some really not great. In my opinion, sorry, not great depictions of Dune after this. The these, dude got it right on the all, first these are, go. I, these these, are all these images, shush, shush fire? Shush, these uh, fire? images <laughs> here, like really cemented. That yeah, I want what that. Dune was about. I mean, Isn't if you look, Ill? if you look at like the video games based on this world, you look at even um, David Lynch's film. Like um, this is what this is what he they were looking at. This is what created that world. Um, do we do we want to um, give a short synopsis about Dune for the listeners who haven't? Uh, I think I think first, I, uh, Br- uh, Bre- Brenjan, don't you have a little tidbit about the Herbert? I do. You can you can Herbert up. I just want you guys to get the feeling. First I love off, this. Is a great. I want to, to give off, you a dude. taste kicks it of of what it all hard. started with, and this floored me because I saw the new editions of Dune being printed, and I thought they were fantastic. I'm gonna talk about them later. But I just want you to know you can't beat that this. John this is my shit. Drone that is my shit. Fucking knocked it out of the park. Why? If you want Why to don't thank they someone? This? You want to? Well, th- they actually. I my uh, I have um, a book version of this that Barnes and Nobles put out. Yes, uh, faux it does kind exist. of leather brown yeah. look. Um, and a lot of these images are in that are they? collection. I had that too. I, I I didn't see those. For yeah, they're I'll go look uh, again. yeah they're in the front, in the back, and they're give us there. so folks again. This this show is about covers, but with the, with these legacies. Like you have to talk about the Herbert, you have to talk about her squirt because he. <laughs> dude, all right, here's the thing. All right, we're the, gonna let the, we're gonna let the, the claw the speak. Egg, the eggplants are beyond purple here because you got to oh realize Dune is the they sci-fi song. They've ripe. gone from purple to black. They are dude, ripe. turgid. <laughs> they are to go. ready it's for a picking. They're Dune ready for picking. Is the sci-fi saga. That's a big claim, but here's the thing. There's there's nothing else like it. And and from the time it came out, I, I I've I've been looking. You have Isaac Asimov. Even yeah. his scope is very political. It doesn't go into a lot of the ecological stuff, at least not that I can recall. Frank kicked off, kicked off this space opera spanning thousands of years with interconnected characters over multiple books. That That's shit was not right. replicated that for is right. ages. No this d- is huge! No Dune. <laughs> No Star Wars. No. Asul has called we, the big well, one. We're going to get there. We can't get there yet, but give us some Herbert. Right. What's her, who here's, is this guy? A Asul has called a big one. So, who uh, is this Messiah? Frank Ooh. Herbert was a um, a guy born in 1920 in Washington uh, in Tacoma. A native son to the Northwest. Yep, he's from the Northwest. Native right. son and in fact, Northwest. before before I knew that Frank Herbert was a uh, Washingtonian, I was up in the Seattle Sci Fi Museum. Oh, which if were you, you haven't were been you there. smelling everything? I was just smelling I would everything. smell Dude, everything. Are you kidding me? Smelling, he's touching. Mandrake. He was <laughs> whacking off to <laughs> everything he <laughs> could, <laughs> hoping that his spore would grow he on was, it so he could own it. Uh, <laughs> 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 he was drinking hard. So um, yeah, if you go in there, there's a there's a whole like section uh, dedicated to Frank Herbert. It's got a bunch of the Dune props from the film, which I geeked out over. But I couldn't figure out why there's this like huge Frank Herbert thing uh, because I didn't know he's from Washington. And it turns out later I figured it out and it all and it all made sense. Oh man, we got to make a pilgrimage. We got to make a pilgrimage. pilgrimage. It's, it's really cool. Cover to colder pilgrimage. Going on a road trip, looking for covers. Going on a road trip, looking for covers. Probably gonna get worms in the ditch of Tacoma. Gonna drink some beers and bang some ladies, maybe later. Hookers and ice cream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna smell everything and get kicked out. So, back to Frank. All right. So, sorry, Frank. So, Frank, um, he did all sorts of different jobs, uh, tried out a bunch of different um, different vocations, but um, he got really interested in an idea for a book when he went down to Florence, Oregon to do some ecological work um, and this sort of idea. Did he, did he run into an old man who couldn't see and didn't told him about the dunes? 
No, I, I don't think that happened. <laughs> hey, hey. But um, he had written a book um, called Under Pressure that later got changed to The Dragon in the Sea. Kind of a submarine psychological book. Probably my least favorite uh, Herbert book. Which one? The, oh, the, dragon the, the, the submarine one. Yeah. I, I never bothered. Yeah. Under pressure. <laughs> when the dragon awakens in the sea. So after researching for six years, uh, Dune uh, came into existence. It was actually quite difficult to... Uh, get a deal for it. Yeah. Um, and analog John W. Campbell was into it right away, but he had issues. It was such a big book. Uh, it's a difficult book to get into because the first, you know, the first hundred pages or so are, political. Well, are very political. It's a very slow burn. Um, the world is given to you kind of piecemeal and you can't decide almost if it's, uh, like a fantasy or a sci-fi. It's, well, it's yeah. almost like you're reading a history. Yeah. It's almost like you're going through a history. It's, going, it's it starts Tolkien out with without the, the unnecessary uh, like history lessons. Yeah, it, it's you almost it like as a, you read. It's almost like an RPG book because you are like in the seat of a training Benny Gesserit. Ooh. And <laughs> you're you're going through training and you're reading the historical documents set you have forth by the, the princess. power of voice. Yeah, that's right. And so it, <laughs> it, it, it's, 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 it's kind of cool because you're like, whoa, I'm the Bene Gesserit. Um, You've been but possessed by the back Baron. to what Bringineer was saying about his difficulty getting it published. By the time he did get it published, it was published with this cover. And the publishing company Ooh. was actually best known for publishing car manuals. Oh, that's right. That's nope. right. That is right. That's right. So, companies take chances. Publish epic fucking sci-fi. So, oh, yeah, he, car manuals. Stop doing car manuals. Start doing, I don't know. Worm uh, manuals. Ch- ch- worm manuals. That's right. Yeah, uh, I did a worm manual once. Um, uh, uh, yeah. I had worms um, for about a week. Yeah. Uh, it was the, very painful. The smell. <laughs> so, Frank was lucky enough that his wife was sort of the bread, breadwinner for a while. It was and, spicy. That was. I've heard uh, that so many times, and he was able to. Is there a little regret just sit in your right. voice there? No, Please. I mean I hear this a lot. I'm sorry. I'm going to jump in real quick. But uh, listen, honey, I'm so, doing stuff. <laughs> this podcast is important. No, I've heard that from so many artists where they're like, "Thank God for my wife. She kept it going while right. I was fucking working on this project, and now." Thank you, wives. Now, now I got her all wives the nice awesome. dishes. Shit. I got her all the nice. I got her anything she wants, whatever yoga pants she wants to buy. She's going to buy it. Okay. Anyways, can't wait to do that. Go ahead. Yeah. So he. Uh, <laughs> you can't wait to buy your wife yoga pants. <laughs> hell yeah. Whatever she wants. Go in, can you imagine going into a store, picking out your shit and not even looking at the receipt? Can't fucking wait. Go to, walk out of a grocery store without looking at the receipt. Fucking can't wait! If I get a pair of yogurt pants, yogurt. I will buy. <laughs> if I, if hey, I what do you think of my yogurt if pants? I, get, I <laughs> get them about six hours before they start to smell. Oh, oh they're <laughs> dripping off of me. They're holding all the yogurt. Yeah, I, buy I your want, wife stuff. I want a, I want a big old sandworm right in the crotch of my yogurt pants. Oh my god, sideworm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. The claw needs to speak. Sorry, the claw needs to speak. The mandrake time. Uh, Dune. Yeah. Frank so okay. So uh, sadly, Frank Herbert died uh, pretty young, age of uh, sixty-five, in nineteen eighty-six. And uh, this is after great. writing six books. Tapes is actually working on a spell to bring him back, but yeah. we'll talk about that later. I, later. I have to decimate his memory some more first. So he wrote six <laughs> Dune books um, in total. Uh, like Tapes was saying, they extend a vast amount of time. Uh, the first book is about, and this is mostly what we're going to be talking about today, is about Planet Dune. There's an, uh, an element on it, a, a spice melange, that when you take, it uh, changes your... Spice rolls! It's basically a drug that everybody takes. It's, it's it, well, and Herbert it himself... your life, He, he explained it as... It's a, a combi- health potion! He, he explained spice as a combination between cocaine and gasoline. Yeah. So it's highly addictive, but so it's, it's also so Space important meth. to... The society in his Holy book shit. that it's like an analog for gasoline Dude, in the, our world. The, the, uh, so snort gasoline, and then you'll understand the spice. navigators. That's the right. Navigators. You start yeah, off no, as a normal get, human <laughs> being. You do enough space yeah. meth, 
And you turn into a navigator. Yeah, and then your mouth is just a pulsate. Anyways, go back. So, yeah, the, the reason the spice is important is because um, thousands of years before, there was a war with a, uh, an the AI. The Butlerian Jihad. The Butlerian Jihad with an AI intelligence. And uh, so after that was taken care of, um, all computers. Which, well, by you the can way, talk about that a little bit more. By the way, in the Jihad, the only way they were able to defeat it is they had to work on their own mind powers. So yeah. you have a very early version of both the Benny Gesserit and the Met. This is going a little deep, but we're just going to do it. And the and the Mentat groups, who are these super mathematical technicians, and they were able to use the their special mind nerds. powers to knock out the robots and robots, except for the Tiliaxu. And then uh, you know, fast forward a bunch of years into Dune. So, anyways, uh, the only way people are able to travel from planet to planet is in the spacecraft, which are uh, essentially sent through the fabric of space by these navigators who have to use the spice. Meth yeah, people. the spacecraft can actually go through space, but you don't know where you're going to come out. In order to see into the future, to see ahead, to navigate through space, you need yeah, you basically you have need a snort. Golem in a, a spaceship half a pound of running spice. on a treadmill. That's right. Yeah, so I mean, it's very complex. Um, there's different. There's a bunch of different houses who are vying for control of this planet, and uh, oh the, shit. the young the young boy Paul Atreides. I just realized something. What you got? Do you think Neil Burt is the one that's powering the spaceship? You think with his drumming? Sorry. So, anyways, these knuckleheads won't let me finish. So, well, I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll just end it with this. Basically, um, you have this young boy who's basically um, foretold to be this prophet, and he's going to save everybody, bring a balance to the galaxy, and all those kind of things. He, he. Uh, Rides the worms and takes control of the worms that are on the planet. It so, sounds uh, yeah. like it sounds like a lot, but like Brengineer said, it's given to you piecemeal. All you need to know is that Frank, he said in an interview that he wrote this book because, and you don't really find this out to like book three, really, but he wrote this book because he felt like all leaders or all like charismatic leaders, I should say, should come with a warning label that says maybe hazardous to your health. I thought he wrote it for yoga pants. I read it from yoga pants. <laughs> um, <laughs> but Brengineer's right. You got a boy. He's special, or he's supposed to be special, and he changes Dune forever. You know, you're... Uh, you know, never mind. You're, well, I was going to say, actually, uh, Paul, the main character, is a mistake. Paul is not supposed to be a messiah. He's accidentally a messiah because uh, Jessica... And Lido, <laughs> dude, this we're is, going way too deep. I, I, I know, yeah, yeah. but I have to correct. I have to correct it because. But, but you're that's that's the surprise at the end. That's a surprise. So that's a twist. That's the maybe that's hazardous to your health a twist. No, it's not. It's the whole thing with the Gamja Bar. Well, nobody's They're like, oh no, shit! You're powerful. We should probably kill you. The twist at the end of the whole series is that the, 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 the point of the Dune thing. is to don't kill Boom. children. And be yourself. Don't kill okay. kids. Also, don't have spice and then have a baby. Okay, so what I got pulled up right now is oh, the first no. cover of Dune. So, first off, can I say I really don't like the Dune lettering in this. I love the Dune I, lettering. I, it's I the don't. best part it, of this cover. Like it, it looks like that, a frozen yogurt no. like store. <laughs> if anything, like if, if anything, that banner speaks to me, Little League T-Ball. Yeah, like yeah, underneath, okay. like, like, um, oh you yeah, know, totally. Yeah. The 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 uh, the Westland sandworms. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, and it's trying to the, go. It's trying to go. Dude, like, if we ever have like wind, kind of, but it's just too. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's free too, men little league versus I, the Harkonnens. It's, it's I fucking too baseball. love it. I'm gonna tell you right now. And the, 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 the location of Frank Herbert, I love it. It's so yellow. It's so sixties. Oh, you know, I wish. Here's what I wish. I wish there had been no Dune. They kept the cummy yellow and put Dune on the side. <laughs> Listen, that would have looked really good. The the lettering, if you know, I like it for what it is, but I don't understand the choice of the image. There's after I showed you who the, painted this, the banks, who did this, same dude, John. Oh, Schroeder, Schroeder. Um, oh. If you if you look at some of the images that John's got, why wouldn't any of those be the cover? Why? why? Like, quite literally. Why? Nine, not, nine, like, nine, like, nine, boom, nine. Boom! Right there. You could even have that that uh, little league lettering right there. Boom. Dude, Schlafen Schlieffen, you fucked it up, dude. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go forward in time because there is a lot of great Dune covers, and again, you're gonna see the sandworms a lot. Thank you, John, for the three flaps. You've done 
fucking well. He was yeah, from that, Queens, and that he was is a the fucking ep- champ. That's the epitome. Dude, that's, that like, started that, the that sandworm. Like, that is like the sandworm, sandworm image. Everybody knows. Sci-Fi Channel, you tried to change the worm. It looked like garbage. No one liked it. Boo. Yeah, what was it Boo. with the rotating teeth? You just... Boo. It was just oh, not rotating good. teeth's not bad. No, rotating teeth is Real dumb. quick, real quick, real quick. I just want to say, once you start reading Dune, you're going to realize how much was lifted from it. No, no, no. Not yet. <laughs> By Mr. Lucas. Not yet. And I'm going to tell you right now. We got we got to we got to wait. We're going to get there. If you think about the Sarlacc pick and the mouth mouth he added onto that Job of the Hut. Pit, no, no, yeah. no. Wait. Okay, wait okay. for it. All right. Here's Ultra coming up. Plants. Coming up next. Dude, yes, 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 yes. These are some of my favorite fucking covers. That Children of Dune. <laughs> that Children of Dune. Right there. Okay, this is Bruce Pennington. Yes, Fucking, Bruce Pennington. That this is, is my, the seventies. And again, sorry, we've I said got this, this cover <laughs> we've so said, long ago. We've, that is my shit okay. right there. <laughs> we've said this before so many times, but you see, covers change for the decade, for the era. That this changed is my life. Seventies, baby. That cover this changed is my color. life. Right this is there. blocky lettering. No more wispy. Um, you know. Art Nouveau lettering. We've got blocky dune carved into the Get rock off lettering. Get off the iPad. Yeah. Get off and go to a bookstore. You will not find this. I'm telling you. You will not find Bruce this. Bruce Pennington knocked it out of the park. And I've actually got an image up here of Dune, Dune Messiah, Children of Dune, and God Emperor of Dune. If you actually put the books together, they all line up and they make the and same makes, curvature makes, of the planet. A, a, did, did he not totally do- different vision of what's inside, too. Because uh, those first images you're showing and the first covers are very... You're right, very dark, almost nihilistic in yeah, some ways. Yeah, and, and monochromatic. Monochromatic. Are, this is just vibrant. It's almost uh, it's almost fantasy. This is this is if you took a snort of spice and yeah. then looked at the world around. I mean, you. the colors are amazing. Um yeah, it's incredible. Just I, the I, outfits they're wearing. Like I would love to see um, Look at the blue look, eyes. Look at the right ornithopter there. design. The ornithopter yeah, the ornithopter is great. Wait, Don't go to that second one. This is Messiah. That, that guy looks awful clanny. <laughs> oh shit! It is purple clansman. Uh, okay, I Bruce. Lie. No Bruce. No, no Bruce. No Bruce. Just going away from the clan. Oh god! Oh, three. No. No. Children of Dune. Suck me in. Okay. Guys, look at the green and the yellow. It's, oh yeah. It's, it's perfectly balanced. This is what I'm talking about. And 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 what's awesome about Dune is it is so epic and so iconic that it can be taken so many ways. But you could see a wacky out of this like. You know, world cover, and you'll Dude, know the woman. Right, so the woman on this cover, I absolutely love. I fell this in love one? with this woman right there. I love the her? Seat th- Dude, yes, yes. Is that is Go- that gonorrhea? I uh, tell oh, I, no. I couldn't. Yeah, that's God. her name, dude. It's like gonorrhea. It's a gami. Gonorrhea. Is it a gami? Is it gami? No, I think it's gonorrhea. I can't anyway, remember. Anyway, a, she's fucking this is badass one of, looking. This is one of Paula Trades. You know, beautiful children. She's very lovely. She is not. Gonorrhea. Don't listen to well, tapes her name over there. sounds a lot. She like looks gonorrhea. like a young, you know, uh, this Hepburn. Cover, this cover yeah. was I, the colors are so so. First of all, all green, pretty much all green, and shades of what green. Do you, what do you think is going on here? Are they flee in the city. They're, they're running from the tigers, dude. This yeah. is before they get separated. Oh, laser tigers, <clears throat> uh, dude. Laser tigers, guys. Possession, children of Dune. First of all, green. I, I want to bring this up a bit because uh, we we touched this briefly, or I should say, Brengineer did about facing the frost, but. <clears throat> Green is one of the most comforting colors to your eyes. Well, uh, you're, it's the easiest color that your eye can take in. That's why a lot of surgeons wear green um, because it makes it, it it's comforting. It's easy for your eyes to take in. So they have that, but well, right in the center is this giant yellow orb. That's which, just which is pulsing. pulsing. And you know what's cool about yellow? Yellow is the complete opposite. Yellow is the worst color for your eyes. Yellow makes me hungry. Because yellow reflects uh, a lot of light back. So it's actually really harsh on your eyes. So if you use too much yellow, it actually it's, it's, fucks with you. It definitely sucks you in. And and, and, that's, it, and when we were pummeling, contrast is so cool. The, the tigers are in uh, God Emperor. No, tapes. no, 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 no. D wolves. No, they're in children. D wolves. D wolves. Oh, the D wolves are God Emperor. Yeah, no, they send they the, send the, laser tigers laser after tigers the babies to kill them. Uh, right, um, right. And when we were pummeling Bringineer with you know words while he was trying to explain Dune, there's a thing that happens when you snort too much spice or you take too much spice, you get blue eyes, blue in blue eyes. The Bringineer gets no respect. The Bringineer gets. That's why the claw. Yeah, it's because you're wrong. He has to rip his respect away from my chest. All right, moving on. This is. The seventies, it's beautiful. I'm gonna bring up. Wait, do we have any information on on uh, uh, Brucey? Bruce, we can go into some Bruce. I want to know a Bruce? little bit more about Bruce, dude. What's his fucking well, deal? 
What is he? What are these? I'm trying. I'm trying to get to are the these, deluxe edition, and I will, these, We are going to talk about Bruce again. That's why I didn't go into Bruce because he's done so many we're not iconic do covers. These again. This is my shit. This is my childhood. Well, well, well gentlemen, it, it's about. I, I gotta say, it's about time we we take a break because uh, I'm excited to um, announce that we have our first ever commercial. What? What? What is going on? I didn't know oh. about this. We have we our have first commercial? ever commercial, dude. Who? Um. Well, I'll just play it for you. I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy. What? Um, once again, this uh, great establishment is um, really going out on a limb for us, and uh, oh shit, oh, we're, no. we, we might make a little money from having their, uh, their okay. commercial here. All so, right, uh, wait, wait, real quick, real quick though. Well, fine. We'll put Bruce on hold, but listen, we're coming back, and I want to know more. Inks, it's on your shoulders. You've shouldered this burden. <laughs> All right, guys, commercial time. No spittle. After a long hard day of work, it's time for a long hard night of play. Welcome to Tang's Man Ranch. There's no wang, only hang and tangs. And spools of hanger steak, cloaked in rivulets of Chet Moyer's red hot butt sauce. Spicy. No dress code as long as it's leather. So grab yourself a fork, brother. Cause of Tang's, we don't judge, just swang. Tang's Man Ranch, off the corner of Staten and Sweat, located in the Milk Valley. See you at Tang's. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Somehow we have to get back we to gotta get. We gotta get back to... <laughs> 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 oh, there's worms. Oh, uh, uh, spice. And, uh, <laughs> uh, so spice. I think, think Chet put spice in the sauce. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, John Schroenherr. Remember him? He brought us the first images of Dune. Real quick, I just want to say a lot of his artwork, those images were done on Mycenaite and oil Ooh. paint on top of the Mycenaite. Probably Jesse. What do you think, Brendan? I like Mycenaite. I like working with it, but I can't say I've really had much of a chance to work mm. with oils. Oils. I'm not a Masonite fan. No? I'm not a Masonite. Well, especially because canvas is so cheap now. Wait, is Masonite... Masonite is... Oh, Masonite is it's like a board, smooth. but not... It's like a board nice that's been pressed smooth. together. That's right, smooth. And that's why you need a gesso. You gesso to get a little teeth on there. Mm. Just, just, a little, about this. just a little spittle on the gesso. And then you uh. paint. <laughs> <laughs> and then, back to Bruce Pennington... Honorable mention, he brought us this magic. He used a lot of gouache. Oh, now, gouache? if you don't know what gouache is, what the what is engineer, gouache? Do you know what gouache is? I haven't really worked with it, so no, I'm not really familiar with Speak the consistency. On it. Speak on it. It's basically like an opaque watercolor. Yeah. It's 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 the love child of a of an acrylic and a watercolor come together. That's right. Well, that's so funny because nice that's how I paint blends. anyway. Yeah. Well, really. So then you might be a gouache man. You don't even know it. I might be. I, I water my acrylics down a lot. Put down the butt sauce. Pick up the butt gouache. Butt gouache. That's all I got to say. Okay. <laughs> Brought to you so, by butt gouache. Butt gouache. Um, try some today. The So this was like a game 60s, a 60s, 70s. Gotcha. And now I'm going to move on to the deluxe cover by Matt Griffin. Ooh. This is your bread and butter right here. This is my. This is what started the whole episode. Again, if you have not picked up this book, this will make you fall in love with Dune. It's this is an experience. What do you see? What do you see on, on the the front of the cover right there? Well, Ooh. once again, I see that uh, the most beloved color palette, I would say, of the aughts. I mean. The cyan and this the was, amber. This was put out this year. Oh, was it? This is, yeah, 2019. There's actually a really good oh. interview with, with Frank, that, or not Frank, God, Frankie Herbert. Love you, buddy. Frank's ghost. Uh, I'm talking about Matt Griffin. He's he's from Ireland. He did a, a great interview, and he was actually alluding to this cover at the time. And, oh, so he was, like, working on it. I was like, yeah, hey, and, and it's there cool. might be a dune? Yeah, Matt, Matt's got some a great work. He does a lot of alternative, like, poster kind of stuff. Um, 
and he uses a lot of pink, a lot of vibrant colors. But oh, he uses a lot of pinks, does he? Yeah, I see why yeah, the inks pal. chose it. Inks loves the inks pinks. Inks loves the pinks. Inks loves the pinks. But Color I'm, and otherwise. I'm gonna go back to the cover here. Yeah. So not only is the cover fantastic, it's got Paul Trades in his still suit in like a cloaky thing. You no, know, it's tattered by the wind. I don't want to rain on your parade. No, but don't do this. I have. <laughs> look at him. There's Matt holding it up. Look at his. Look at him. Look have, at his slightly yeah. disappointed face. No, it's just, it's just I'm really just, just pleased like, with my work. I, I, um, I, uh, just look pleased at, with my work there. I've made. That's, no, it's, it's a problem. It's kind of good. It's not a problem. It's, it's got okay. to do. No, I love it. Look at the fucking planet in the background. It's yeah. got the blue. It's got the. You know, I do blue. appreciate about blue it. On, blue I, on the top of the. I appreciate that the the Dune oh. Sun has that like '70s uh, ink blot kind of thing going for it. You know. It looks like the colors are like spreading out around the sun. I think that's really cool. Uh, and I love, I love the silhouette, but, and the, the colors are very catching, but I, I don't, the, this is a 2019 cover. Yeah. It Let's is. be real. This is a 2019 cover and that's okay. I don't like how shiny it is. Maybe it's that's fucking shiny. It so here, it's fucking shiny. Like, look at the inserts you, that he's done as when well. When you pick it up, it's also foiled. I will say, in real life. And if you know. notice the worm is not a three flapper. No. That's, you know, that's a that's a ding bing on that one. But other than that, this book is an experience. Look at the fucking melange blue edges on that book. This is a book that grabs you and says, "Read me." I also read don't, me. I, I didn't like the blue edges. What? Yeah, so here's the thing with oh the cover God. with the co- here's what I would have preferred. What? I would have preferred if... Oh, I haven't seen it without the jacket. Yeah. I, I would have preferred it if the blue were black instead. I think no. The, yeah, I no. think the, I think the black, blue. I think the black would have offset the color a lot better. I felt like the blue clashed kind of awkwardly with the color. For me personally. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm so, probably wrong. So here is the Maybe strong points of the, of the cover, I think. So like I was saying, um, a big thing in like the 2000s... Um, in movie posters was the cyan and the amber color scheme together. Really? Right? Yeah. That was like a Hellboy. Um, hmm. I, I can think of, I can't think of any more right now, but hell the, like the Hellboy movies uh, was uh, the movie posters were a big thing. Um, those were, I thought he made these choices because you've got the sand and the heat. And oh, the for sure. And then you got the melange. But like I was saying, uh, in an episode, that color scheme is really pleasing to the eye. And it's one that gets used a lot. True. What oh. works also great in this is the color scheme from the planet, uh, is then, uh, mirrored down in the, uh, dune tiles below. Um, yeah, which, I I do, really which like. is fantastic. And look at Paul's blue eyes yeah. and he's yeah. obscured. There's another thing that I don't like oh, about covers. Yeah. Here's, here's, Oh, here's an inks gripe. Here's an inks reveal. When I read a book, I want to form the faces of my characters with my brain mind. Right. He doesn't I give me that. I don't want you to, I don't want you to, to, to paint every pockmark and tell me exactly what the character's looking like. I don't like that. I want to be able to form. The, that's why people, when they read the book and then they see the movie, they're like, yeah, you know, they cast it kind of weird because a lot of times that what you formed in your brain doesn't really match. That's right. Jason Momoa. That's get, your, <laughs> get your fartiness out oh, of my baby. Dune movie. The new movie's coming out. Get your and farty this is the reason, out of my Dune this movie. This is the reason why they <gasps> went back and they <gasps> did, they I'm, redid the I'm cover here. Idaho. Yeah. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Um, uh, Moon Age just put. By the way, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we should probably we got a fourth member of the room. Moon Age, he, he he's not speaking, but he's here. He's kind of our man, our dinger. Moon Age, say hi to the say hi to the people. They should know you're here. Hi. Yeah, Moon Age. Yeah, he's Moon dinging. Age. He's a dinger. Moon Age just brought something. Go back to the cover real quick and zoom in. Hyper zoom. Not it, not not that. I don't know what that is. Zoom. <laughs> We're zooming. We're All zooming. Right. Uh, hyper hyper zoom into that cover real quick. He he just uh, found something pretty cool, which is actually very accurate uh, to the. To Ooh, the you cover. like it now? This is official. No, look, look, what's around Tapes his head? Tapes likes it now. It's a halo. Yeah, dude, yeah, that's a fucking Nimbus, it's bro. A fucking Nimbus, which is bro. like, look at that Messiah. Fuck, dude. look at him. But this is classic Matt Griffin shit right here. This is classic sci-fi. Lots oh, of that's, pink. That's classic oh. Matt Griffin right it's there. It's that very, big, very yeah, classic yeah, Matt Griffin. Seventies sci-fi. Oh yeah, he 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 is definitely a child or a student of is the seventies. So this is Lots a modern piece that he did. 
Yeah, dude, this look at those. Wonder look it. at those fucking seventies doing letters down there, dude. Dude, you can see, you can see. Look, the halo. You can see where he was practicing. Oh. You can see the beginning of his process. You realize this is just the Dune cover with different colors and some sand. No, yeah, no, this this is very <laughs> this, is, nine, this nine. is very reminiscent of the film Mandy. I was well, I was gonna say the Void, but Mandy, yeah, too. Yeah, this is his style. This is what he does. This is what he does. I've got some more awesome from Matt Griffin. Here. Look at his thing poster. Look at the fucking face in the wind. Oh, that's awesome. That's ill. This is his style. This is high contrast. I can using see. The I can see why you like it, Inks. It's very polarizing. Oh, oh, man, look at the I iron love, giant. Look at the yeah. fucking iron cool. giant, bro. I, yeah, I like. I just. I I like his pinks and his blues. Maybe it's just me. I mean, I think Inks I think, likes pinks. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on a shirt. <laughs> right, that on a shirt. We got two shirts now. We got the titties got me to work, and we got ink slack pinks. <laughs> oh baby. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. It's outlawed in most so, states. I don't. I don't dislike the Dune cover. It just, I from to my eyes, for whatever reason, it it. Uh, it I don't know. It's it doesn't give me the same feeling. Yeah, it's effective as a good science fiction cover, as a Dune cover, but it doesn't have that same uh, sense of like. The Dune nostalgia for me, really? Yeah, yeah. I, I, man, this this here's really, the thing. This this brought me back. Okay, maybe I need to show you the book that's sitting on my shelf. Real quick, if I can, one more thing. I'll just say I I think the problem with that, and and probably the problem with Brengineer too, is there's two different sides here. I feel like you tend to tunnel more into the modern, where we kind of. Our nostalgia lies more in the the crusty scene yeah. paperbacks. And, that, and granted, for modern, for modern, for modern, I like that. I like that for modern because okay. most modern shit is like I, a I, fucking thimble. I think you might be right. I think of roses. I think I might be swimming up up the, uh, the sand stream here. But I, I I don't dislike it. I just for me it's. It's too, it's too, there's, it's too stylized. It's too sheety. It's there's too, too many, melange. There's too many sheets blowing in the wind. You need dirt. Sheets well, and, in and the wind. <laughs> Brown stained sheets in the wind. wind. <laughs> there's a clown hiding in my sheets. Oh, oh yeah, dude. God. There's a Hassar Klein <laughs> well, in your sheets. Matt you Griffin, those rings. I appreciate what you've done on this deluxe cover. I think it's fantastic. I think it's an experience. I think it's going to reach out. It's going to grab I like it too. all the babies out there who have not read Dune. And it's going to say, read me. I like I'm it a too, magnificent. But, but I dude. start slow, but you're going to remember me forever. You guys realize we're coming uh, to the point where generations won't be able to read Dune. Because they can't, no, they no. can't, they no. can't ah. handle. Yeah, we, we talked ah. about this with uh, the Belair stuff, dude. It, it's too cerebral. It's too cerebral. You, you need to listen to it. You can't sit there and read the words because you'll have to reread sentences over and over. We're, we're coming out of people being cerebral into, uh, I Just, don't know. Well, you can be cerebral, but paced. you have to listen to it. Well, yeah. I, I don't have an image of the cover. I I plan on bringing in today. But the cover that I grew up with and have on my bookshelf is a terrible cover. It's all black. It's got a slice of a photograph of a I, I and like that, that is what, cover. Well, hold on just a second. The the cover that I'm talking about is black. It's got a little slice of. A I know dude. which one you're, you're referring to. I don't to. like it. You, you like don't. It? I really do, dude. That 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 kept me away from Dune for so long because it looks like oh, a is that, it looks like a, a bad Bible. Like is, it, is that the slice with the single Dune in it? Yeah, I know exactly we're gonna what have to look about. it up. We may have to pause. No, no, it's right, it I, it's right here. It's right here. I got see, it right I here. See it. Yeah, we yeah. Got, you we got see it. that shit? No, no. no I I really like this. No. He, here's why I like no. it. It's just sort of. Uh, I like mystery in my art, you know, like I like the guy being a silhouette and not being able to see their features and just, you know, that looks like a pamphlet to me. What, what kind of, but it, it's also it makes me want to look and see what it's all about. Like if I didn't know mm. what Dune was, mm. okay. And I see this thing, Dune, there's this like sort of majestic looking strip of desert and it's about science fiction. Like I'm curious. It doesn't say science fiction to me. This says the the sand and structures of Dune. You, you know what Dunes I don't like about it? A interesting. Here's what uh, I don't group like about of it. Bodies of this, sand. To, they <laughs> shift over time. And, Sometimes uh, top for the scratchy made up of grass. Microscopic, <laughs> yes, microscopic uh, stones. To me, whole, to whole, me, whole, it looks whole, like a book whole, my mom whole. would have, and my mom it, would absolutely. go, "Hey." Hey, you should read that this. That is a grandmammy book. It's a cool book. book. And I'd be like, okay, mom, I'll, I'll read this book. And then i just throw it in, the, in my bedroom and forget about it. Okay. It doesn't scream like, science fiction book. <laughs> now no. this, this shit you pulled up. Yeah. 
If I couldn't make you guys happy with the last one, I'm going to try and make you happy with this hey, one. Hey, you made me happy with the last this one. Is, okay, good. I like this one, too, though. Bridgeneer's got my back. We're just okay. not spilling our seed on the book. I was the last spilling one. my seed in the middle of the bookshop. They pulled me out some burly nerd with his, with the bottom <laughs> buttons of his shirt not buttoned, Be pressed real, his belly up against out. me, and said, Sir, you can't spill seed on the books. Hey, and he pulled hey, me out of the shop, here. and I said, No! It wasn't it. my one! Well, it wasn't my one! All over the book! Books. Ah! 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 You've got to put your pants on. Um, okay, so I pulled up Get Jim, out of here, Phil. Jim Tierney. He also did a cover for the re-release of the books because the movie is coming out. The deluxe edition is what I showed you. These are just the hardcover and paperback, and this is what the babies of this generation are going to see yeah. when they and pick I'm up okay a with book. I'm okay with that. These with are fabulous minimalist covers. If you want to see how to do a good minimalist yeah. cover, Usually this is suck. how you do it. It's got Dune, D-U-N, right down the middle, up and down, not side to side. There's an E in there, too. D U N. No, my dude. E. My dude don't got no. My money. dude just said my done. Dude, I said no done. Way. That's right. Done on Dune. And the letters are obscured by the dunes. And who's walking in the middle of the dunes? I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a silhouette a, it's a, of, it's some a sort of, of some lonely sort. creature character and there's the two moons. It's a fabulous you know, postage I, stamp I, of the I, of the. I, I like to say too, dude. The white and the blue in the middle of the orange. Yeah, that's real awesome. Effect. Again, it's, again, it's same so, color palette. Color. Benjamin it brought up. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Now, when you put all these together with the rest of the books, it's real glorious. Oh, the other all book covers them, are great. All of them are brilliant. You mean oh! these covers? Oh! Yes, this is Dune Messiah. Messiah! Not my favorite of the series because it, it has to do a lot of the heavy lifting that you're going to need for the later books. Which is funny because I actually really enjoyed that. Yeah, it's not my favorite either. I wish it had been you need uh, it. attached. Originally, uh, Dune Messiah was well, an extension of, Dune, yeah. of the first book and they decided to cut it. They, 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 like, they did a Lord like, of the Rings. They said, you know what? This book is too damn long. I like that you get to, to revel in Paul's glory for a little bit only to find that it was all a lie. Also, from a personal standpoint as a reader... When you have a giant, fat, 700-page book, and then all of a sudden you have a 250-page book, it's kind of a nice book. It's nice, and yeah. it does nice a lot book. of the heavy lifting Now, let me need. say, this is my least favorite. Children of Dune? There's right. two reasons. First of all, the color palette, again, green. green. Green is the most comforting it's, of yeah, all but, the colors. But with the tan in the background, green. it doesn't stick out as much also. Yeah, but you got the two babies up on the cliff. I'm, the two, uh, this Trades is the most babies. adventurous of the covers. This is like an adventure. I want to see. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm my prejud- favorite I'm covers. Prejudice. My I'm favorite one's coming because up. Because of Bill Harlow. Okay, my Bill favorite. Bill Harlow's other one. Favorite one coming up. Here we go. Not, oh yeah. This is not actually my favorite one, but no, it's a great cool. one. This is cool. Oh, they got the forest instead of dude. So yeah. forest. That's clever. Yeah. yeah. It's forest. Again, Jim Tierney, you did great. This guy's up in Pennsylvania. Sorry, he real quick. Knocked it out of the same, park on the Same these. guy did all of them? Um, no, the deluxe really? edition was done by Matt Griffin. He's no, from Kells. Yeah, no, Matt, no, same guy did all of these but ones. But Jim Tierney, he did all the, Dude, all the ones. Dude, what a, what a boss, man. And he did a great job. These are fantastic. And look, if you look in the forest, what do you see? Oh, fucking uh, D-Wolf! D-Wolf eyes. You fat see the eyes. Fat swingers, fat this is, hangers. This is what I'm Flopping talking about. the forest. Like, hangers of wolf. This is what a cover should do for a book. It should give you some mystery. It should pull you in. And then your imagination fills in the fucking you know, gaps. The funny thing about that, too, is we, we always bring Boom. Oh, oh, look at that. Boom. Oh, Heretics dude, of Dune the is the purple. masterpiece, this in my is opinion. my favorite. Jimmy, this- Jim, 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 you killed it on this one. Yeah, so... This might be one of my sec- or second or third favorite covers. And, I and it's actually it. It's actually probably one of my favorite Dune books. Heretics, uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Frank, Frank Herbert got a lot of uh, flack for writing sequels, it turns out. That's Why? Weird. Um, I don't know. He was just, uh, dude. He uh, wrote. He wrote so many of them. I'm not gonna go into it too much right now. But there, if we do it, we're, we're gonna do another Herbert. You got the Jesus incident or the ship series. I think it's called. Those books are fucking great. I'm All right, to find we're doing Dune, but, could ride but the, 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 if you've done Dune and you haven't done yourself the service of reading the ship, the ship series, read those books. I like awesome. uh, the Whipping Star, which is about this uh, sadistic woman who likes to beat this alien with a whip what so is she, this a book this is a book and no. this alien is the last of its kind and it's literally keeping humankind Jesus. alive um and this woman keeps summoning these portals 
So she can lash this thing with a whip for uh, sexual uh, pleasure. Like she whips it through the portal? <laughs> whips it through the That's portal. That's next level bondage, guys. <laughs> That's right. dedication. Get your bondage game right. And this detective is trying to figure out <laughs> if this alien is into it or doesn't like it because he can't, no one can figure it out. And if he's into it, then there's nothing he can do, right? Because he's Ooh. consenting to it. Kinky. Uh, it's a really <laughs> strange and interesting and awesome book. And this is the cool thing, because that is like, all right, so Dune is this very cerebral, very kind of serious, <laughs> no nonsense kind of book. And then, but so you kind of expect that from Frank Herbert, but then he makes shit like that. Yeah. Which hair- is also, everything he's ever done is very psychological, very cerebral, and it <clears throat> makes you think. Yeah, I mean, that... That's definitely from like a law perspective. That's that's quite the conundrum. I just found the name of the worm writer. My bad, it's not Ali. It's Sheena. My oh, mistake. that's right. Yeah, Sheena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's 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 right in front of the U of Dune on the Heretics of Dune. And yeah, Sheena of the, the whole cover is Sheena, taken up. Worm rider yeah. riding worms yeah. through the Sheena desert. Sheena is a worm rider. Sheena is worm a worm rider. rider. I can't Sheena remember if she's the. No, she's no, not. No, she's not. Okay. okay, okay, okay. So, I, quick aside, I had to go. I had, I had stopped at Children of Doom, and tapes got in my face last time. Was like, T- Children of Doom. Where's the have you read? Info, man? Yeah, where have you? you, you have you read Heretics? Info. Do you know about Heretics? Do you know about vibrating the Chinas? And I was like, <laughs> Oh. I know nothing, dude. I what? know nothing. How does the mind need- vibrate? No. And so I had to go read Heretics of Dune, as you should. And it's a and shit, right? Again, it's a shit, right? Jimmy, you, it's so good. It's if if you read Dune and you're like, fuck, I want to capture that like that build up moment, you know. And then you go through Messiah and Children, you see everything go to shit. Yeah, sorry, you got to read through a couple. Push books. on <laughs> through to Heretics because you're gonna get some wild. Heretics is the action book. It's got yeah. it's it is. got well action. amazing scenes. So, again, it's it's a lot like Inks brought up a great point. Uh, it's a lot like Dune in that the first, I want to say half is is kind of a it's a little slow, and then everything after that is just like it just it just starts buh, rolling buh, downhill, buh, buh. and everything just gets spicy. Now the last now, book is, is good. Chapter House. I, I'm I, not. I'm not into this. I'm not very. Huge no, this on is it. like he 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 blew it on the last what's, one. What's with the, the made vines, an amazing the image? Smoky and, vines. And now he's he's doing this. Well, yeah. th- this book is about the traveling <laughs> through space a lot. And this is what he's trying to portray. I agree, it's not my favorite. What's with? But the- you know what, Jim? We're not going to shame you for your last book. You, well, we'll shame you a little. It's you, not that good. <laughs> you knocked that other. I part. don't like it. This is this is the bottom. This is why it's it, it, yeah. It's Dude, just the, what's that it's sci-fi the- game where you're, like you're in space and you're like, that's what the ship looks like. Space Invaders. It looks like fucking asteroids or something. Asteroids. Chapter House Dune. Should should people finish off the series? Fuck yeah. Yeah, Chapter House is a hard. Is it is the it's the hardest hardest one to get through. It's the hardest one to get through. But you will. It's the hardest cover to draw. Apparently, too. Yeah, you will not regret it. Um, it stays with you. Not to mention, I'm I'm not going to say anything because we'll just go off a tangent forever. But the ending, what the fuck? Yeah, just craziness. So this was supposed to. There was supposed to be one last book, uh, and uh, sadly, Frank died before he was able to release it. But his son, Brian, has taken up the mantle, and he's been writing. He wrote, you know... Um, How do you feel about Brian versus Frankie? Let's do it. Let's do this brief, because we can do this. We can do another Dune. Honestly, but- honestly, I, I enjoy I enjoy the Brian books. They, they are more... Uh, they are, I heard they, they're more action. They read more like blockbusters. They read more like a blockbuster. Frank reads more like a uh, psychology book. So going, so going back to some previous episodes, you'd say it's more uh, The Hobbit than Lord of the Rings. In, indeed, yeah. <laughs> oh where, my God. where Frank, I'm Frank, not reading it. Cheeky no, dwarf. No, Frank, no, no. Frank, Frank, Frank writes like it. this. It's like, and then beautiful dwarves, they're building beautiful up for the battle. Here comes the battle. Here comes the battle. You're waiting for the battle. After the battle. And there is no battle. He doesn't explain the battle. It's just them oh, coming out of the battle. Like, what? Where's well, the battle? So Brian's that. like, then she took her space mace and thrust <laughs> it straight into the gut of the Harkonnen. And then the Harkonnen <laughs> threw up all and He's like, the- whoa! I gotta say, though, that's, I mean... The gurgling blood was the last thing Red he Engineer's not wrong. However, when... F- and here's the reason why. Because I think it was exhausting for Frank. Because when Frank... De- Frank Herbert has one of my all-time favorite combat scenes of all time. And I actually think it's in, uh, I think it's in Dune. It's uh, Fade fighting, not Paul, but actually fighting just some random 
uh, uh, Atreides warrior. I want to kill him! Yeah. <laughs> uh, and okay, so... It is the most broken down, intense fight ever. It's every step, every step, every move. Bah, the knife, bah, every bah, thought is ching, going through. Ching. And it's badass because you have this Atreides warrior who's just like... He's not a person. He's just some <laughs> random warrior, and he's giving Fade the fucking run for his money. And it's an awesome fight. It's an awesome fight. I will kill you. I will kill him! Okay, so... I'm going to finish off. Jim Tierney, you did a great job. This, this is Look all of his ooh, other covers. Stephen King. And you ooh. can see that this is his wheelhouse. He is a master Bro, at doing he does, minimalist covers. He does all the, uh, the, bar, oh, the Barnes and wait, Nobles wait, covers. Wait, look. He, did, he did the Born to be Posthumous, which is the um, uh, Edward Gorey biography. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Dude, I, have, I like that cover. It's Sesting. a great cover. It's fantastic. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Fantastic. You Sesting, did great, Sesting, Jimmy. Sesting, Sesting. Jimmy, good work. Good work. All right, I'm done Good with stuff. my books. Love them, hate them, Dune. Now, the movie. So, if I may. Love it, hate If I it. may, once again. Uh, we'll talk about I'm, love it I'm guilty it. of this. If I may, once again, steal the spotlight. What, in the beginning, I said I had something that connected. And indeed, it does connect. Uh, because Whoa. just Whoa. like I Whoa. fucked up with uh, Nicholas Janeshig, <laughs> guys, I also fucked up with the Dune cover. No. Yes. No. Yes. I love it. No. I love it. So is that possible? So when I was looking through my information on Renato uh, Casaro, who you'll remember did the cover for um, uh, uh, <laughs> Army, of, Army Darkness. of Darkness. Thank you. Army thank of you. Darkness, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Conan. Co- all that. All that scrumptious shit, right? 80s shit. So it said he Renato. Did the, he did the cover for Dune. I was like, oh no way, no way. But Renato did indeed do a cover for Dune. It was an oh. international cover. Mm. So mm. I, I'm going to get to that because it's fucking amazing. But first, I got to talk. I got to fix this. Tom June. That's who I'm talking about. Tom June. He's the one who did the cover for Dune. Uh, he designed it. He did it. Um, he did some other covers before as well. What you see before you is a, a, a pretty famous cover that he did. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars. Yeah, this is the original Star Wars. Really, Killer. really cool. He's got you've got the uh, cross lightsaber going on here. You've got Darth sibling Vader sibling bonding. Yep, sibling. Uh, mm. And maybe sibling <laughs> something else. <laughs> hey man, there's Kevin Sest in this. Hey, I'm just saying, saying they fly <laughs> away on a spaceship at the end of Empire uh, Strikes Back, and uh, you don't know what happens on that ship. That's right. <laughs> we don't talk about She's it. He's like, oh it's yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, Han, whatever. Oh, dude, that's what he was saying because Leia was behind Luke. Or Leia was behind Vader, and she's like, I'm pregnant. <laughs> it's impossible! Oh, anyway. Gross. That was the most... Gross! And the child they had was Sloth. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just make him a Mandalorian, and they can't see his face. <laughs> May the force be with you! I, I'm sorry, Tom Jung. Anyway, uh, so yeah, Tom Jung, um, he got his he got to start doing doing covers. He uh, Very famously, he did a uh, the 1967 uh, cover, re- recover for Gone with the Wind, which I didn't realize was a really impactful cover, and it plays a big part in Star Wars. Do you guys remember that cover for Gone in the Wind, where he's like holding her no. back and she's kissing him? No. Yeah, was there lasers? That is was just a really, spaceships? really not good movie. But, but uh, okay, but do you guys remember? No do you guys idea. remember the Star remember Wars poster where right Han now. is doing the same thing with Leia? Oh yeah! Oh. Oh. Lot, it turns out lots of covers. Stick with of, what works. Yeah, I've ripped. So he did. <laughs> he did this great. I love his color. It, I, 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 I really fucked up. I, I'm noticing the. The turquoise blue with the cyan or the sienna. You know what? It looks you a see, lot. It's everywhere. It's a lot more everywhere. Engineers unlocked my mind. Um, and I, I couldn't find out actually exactly the medium, um, but he did this one Woo! as well. That's so Scrong. good. Yes, the Scrong. Empire Strikes Back. You guys have seen this before, no doubt. Yeah, and we're look gonna at this again. Vader. Stand and look at their faces. If you want these sweet links, go to our website and you can see what we're talking about. Dude, you look, can she's feel like, that feeling. She's like, Dad, look at the size of she your package. She looks like a gibbon. And over here, Han's like, damn, how am I going to contend with that thing? Yeah. And then Luke's like, man, I wish mine was that big. Yeah. Look right. at that lightsaber. All you have to do is get son, cut off son, from your knees come down. Come to tanks. Come to the dark side. And then you'll get a giant hydraulic piece. It's going to get bigger. It'll come bigger. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, so he did that. Um... <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. Tom oh. Jung. 
look at that thick, girthy sword. Dude, this is a piece of... I know Bridge to your childhood. This yeah. is a piece of mine. This is uh, incredible. Inks has some things to say about this film. but I have some things to say about this film, but again, covers sometimes outshine the film. Or sometimes... They're better than the film. Or sometimes they make you watch shitty stuff or read shitty stuff because they're so This is good. not a shitty film. The, the original animated Lord of the Rings. Dude, guys, I'm not going to go into it because we, we've touched a lot of stuff. Rotoscope. This, this movie things. was not supposed to be made. Originally, Rotoscope. this was going to be a Lord of the Rings actual live action film. Oh. Guess who was fucking casted for Frodo? Let's hear it. Mick Jagger. No. No. Yes, dude. no. Dude, there is a crazy story That's behind not it. possible. Yeah, look it up. It's fucking crazy. No. So, <laughs> anyway, that fell through. You know what? And you, oh. I wish it was made. I wish that shit was made. Oh. I wish. Anyway, what we got was. I wish was this a, ring was shattered. What, shattered. What we got was this Shadu amazing Bay. Ralph Bashki film, and Tong Jung did this amazing cover where Gandalf is going. Go, go towards there. And Who was like, cast as Gandalf? Sorry. I don't know. I, I, I've, I, you got to look it up. I don't know if they have the full cast. I just remember, of course, how am I going to forget <laughs> Mick Jagger is Frodo? <laughs> Frodo. Look at his E.T. finger. <laughs> go to go to Mordor. I could send the eagles to pick you up to drop it in there, but I won't do that. But they they are not working on. Tuesday. Yeah, once again, Gandalf, you no. asshole. Give them eagles. You, you, you no. bastard. A wizard never summons you eagles. You bastard. Anyway, let's get to the meat. Boom! Bam. There she Boom. is. Boom! There she is. Dude. My childhood. Is. Okay, it's it's interesting though because I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in real quick. I had not watched the film until two days ago. That's right, folks. I had do, my do, Dune do, movie do, cherry popped two days ago, do, and it was interesting. Do, do, it was incredibly do, do, interesting. Did you did you get so you you brought up the covers? Were th- was that not the cover you've seen? That's the cover I've seen. Okay, good. It was. It, 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 there was two covers I've seen. There's a Blu-ray one, and it's it's the the photo. What do we call it? Bridgeneer montage or photo composite. Like, composite. Fucking composite. Kind of a thing. And then, um, but this one's good. But it's interesting because you go ahead and explain it. But I'm gonna say Paul is right in the middle, and he's got a maker hook. Yeah. And a thumper. Dude, and I love so. Okay, can, can I just jump in just real fast? Yeah, go for it. Go just, for it. I, I want to take you back, uh, back to my childhood, back through the winds of doom, and I'm in my grandfather's study. Yes, he had a study, a room lined with books, and my eyes went right to the bound don't covers. Don't come in here. Of the Dune books, <laughs> Grandpa, not again. I not said my, don't come in here. I'm using the sock. It's and so, my time. And so I pull these books off, and they're Dune, and the covers are really cool. They're um, We haven't talked about uh, those covers this That's time. but great wind effects. Uh, wow, wow, wow. So anyways, I'm looking at these things, and, and I asked my my uh, mother about it, and she's like, oh, those are great books. But you, you know, you're too young. Of course, I'm too young. But there's a movie. <laughs> it's always too young with you. <laughs> you're too young, damn it. You're too young to read these and books. And so anyways, I forget about it, and then I'm at the library, and there's a, this is back when there were VHS in the library, and I see this cover on there, and I see Dune. This this cover, Bam. if this does not ignite your imagination, Bam. you are blind, or you know you're you're yeah you've got no senses. This, this like just fucking Look at that. the rows of spaceships, the horde of people in the back, the 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 bright purples. And like the what's, blues. If you don't know what Dune's about, like what's Sweet on his pinks. shoulder? What's this thing he's Sweet carrying? Pinks. Oh, the pinks, the blues, just every. Well, yeah, this it, is interesting because everything else has got that sandy sienna color, and they went with a dark um, uh, palette. And it, I will say, however I felt about the movie, the cover gives you an idea of the breadth and the scope of the series. And I love this says this is going to stretch on and on and be epic. This, on, this hits off, you oh, right in the nostalgia main vein. Yeah. Going off the color palette here, if you look, the the cool thing about this, again, not, now, I mean, we I got looking into colors, and now I can't help it, but uh, you got that blue, which is kind of this cool, calming, calming, cool feeling uh, mystery. Purple is also kind of, it gives a lot of people uh, evocative of royalty, that kind of imagination and mystery. But the red, red is often fired off as like, it's a catch. It's excitement. It's, it's, and that's right framed in the back. Thrills. But you see what they do with the dunes. The dunes are actually very brown. I know in this image it looks purple, but they're very brown, which is cool too, because brown is often um, associated with like stability and grounding, which makes a lot of sense. It's brown. 
And that's cool because the Fremen, that's what it's all about. It's these fucking salt of the earth people taking They're back the their earth planet. People. Yeah. So you've got this amazing cover that I just feel really not only represents the movie, but it really represents the tones of the of the book as well. Now, do you notice the moon placement behind Chani's head? Oh uh, yeah, is somewhat halo. Yeah, absolutely. Behind oh, Chani, very, interesting. She, very car- interesting. she carries the dude. Seed. Sean Young oh. might be one of me, one of my sci-fi Bang crushes because she was she was it, doing her, it. her fate in her this fate, movie. Uh, her fate in Hollywood is very sad, but yeah, it's incredibly she, sad. But Sean Young, man, she is so beautiful in this movie. Incredible, dude. Sean Young was. I will. I will go with Inks. Uh, that Blade sci-fi Runner, crush. Dude, Blade so Runner, hard. Oh, crushing yeah. so hard. She it's crushing so hard. You got sci-fi crushes. Engineer, sci-fi crush, sci-fi, sci-fi crush, sci-fi crush, Sean Young, Mooney. Uh, you know We're what? Ask Mooney too. I'll have to come back. I'll have to come back on that. All right, I, think I, on that. But Sean you, Young, you know what? You know we what? salute you on this one. It would probably be um, swing, it, swing, <laughs> swing, swing. <laughs> I, I'd be swinging for uh, in heavy metal. Um, oh, animated, um, animated, uh, easy. Tana, Tana. Well, how can you not, dude? There's a Ten minute scene of her putting her clothes, taking her clothes except off. Except I want I, if 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 just ever, titties going bloom bloom. If bloom, I ever bloom. got with her, I'd want her to be still like a cartoon, okay. but in like the real world. Would you be a cartoon? Though? I wouldn't be a cartoon. I'd be live action. No, you that, be bro. The- I would go full on Roger Rabbit. I want to dip there's in the a, palettes, There's a movie bro. about this. How that's, that went wrong. That's yeah, what I'm Brad Pitt learned. Wait, Moon Knight, Cool World. <laughs> yeah, I want to go straight up Cool World. Moon Knight, shout yours out real quick. What's yours? Little Dallas Multipass. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, real quick, we just got to go over this movie. I mean, Inks, let's go. No, it's a multipass. What, what What was your feelings when you saw this movie? Oh, boy. I, I tell you what. I'm gonna, don't, I'm, sh- don't shit on our childhood, I'm gonna, Inks. I'm going to tell you what. You better try carefully. There's a lot of stuff. I will kill him. There was added to, to I Dune. I will kill him. <laughs> Here's the thing is, is, I don't understand why Dune gets this rap as being boring, or I don't know, maybe that's me just making it up, but I felt like there was a bunch of junk tacked on to my beautiful, like, Camaro like what? of Dune. What they junk, were just man? tacking what junk, junk onto it to make Give it. Give me an example. Let's talk about the weirding modules. Let's that's talk about the weirding shit. modules. That's you're my gonna, shit. You're going to pull a come, you're going to put a come to, well, this is what we call, it's called a come to, where you come back and forth, you go back and forth on the thing and it pulls the, is the strap tight. Is this tight. Texan? Is this, this Texan? Is te- yeah. Hey, this you, is, hey, you throw a fucking come a, to in that movie, bro. That's right. You put the hook on the thing and you ratchet it back and forth and it brings the heavy object towards you. They strap one of those around their necks, bro. And then they made these humming noises, and it powered Joel, up their. It died. It died. <laughs> it powered up their like um your their coffee mugs. Dude, what a cool their, way their to show the voice, bro. No, I I to me like how, how, tell you tell me how would you okay how what would you, you rather shown that? what would you rather have like a machine that makes you shoot like voice lasers or to learn like ancient. Benny Gesserit Kung Fu, Space Kung Fu. So let me get this straight. I want to see ancient J- Benny Gesserit whoa, whoa, whoa. Space Kung Fu. So instead of them going, ja, and channeling their voices into a power attack, I wanted, you wanted them to be going literally, hi-ya, yeah, hi-ya, doing Yeah, that's right. Backflips? I wanted them to... to that I would have <laughs> been... That would have ruined the movie. I want to see them backflipping and disarming people. I wanted... Jackie Chan to train the Fremen army. <laughs> no! I want it. Okay, here's the other thing. Oh, Jackie Chan in the 2020 movie. I, I will say, <laughs> I will say the movie, the set design is phenomenal. Dude, yeah, so let me it, give you. It is phenomenal and it creates. Do you guys know who produced this? Come on, you know. The royalties. You know, the royalty himself, the dog. Pedro Laurentiis. Yeah. Well, D- Dino, and that was Dino. that was exciting. I wrote that down in my notes he, he immediately. He did produce this, but actually more. Well, no, he actually didn't produ- produce this. He presented this. But we have his daughter, Raffaella De Laurentiis, who produces. She and produces. Dude, you can see this shit. It's so Italian. You got all the giant sculptures. You got <laughs> they they blew all the money on I this mean, and, project, and they, they took the time to give everyone their own planet. It, it it but I will say, like, for me, one of the big things is they let you see the Space Guild 
right away. Yes! And that's one of the big reveals Three of the book. Face. At the end, at the very end, Mullen's mouth. that's supposed to be a big shock, and instead, they show it to you over and over and over. That's because you gotta make over. room they for gotta, the they, awesome they were so, with They were so diaper. proud of their vagina mouth creature, just going pew, 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 pew over and over again. There were some things about the movie that were okay, but I so, felt like my favorite parts of the book were just glossed over in the movie here's the problem the it, sandworms fantastic oh, three so flappers good. classic three flappers well done we're um, not even talking about all the tradies the casting incredible jessica beautiful we're not even talking about the most important part the of this baron. movie no well the baron. Our, the baron yes but and the soundtrack I, uh, do you know who did the soundtrack for this movie yes i do dude not only was it toto which, look up Hydra. I, I bless know. the sands of the rain. Fucking hate that song. <laughs> Listen to Hydra. I love that cover. We'll do that sometime. I hope the world. You got Hydra and Brian up. Eno, dude. Brian Eno. Arrakis on fire. <laughs> Better go and kill Harkonnen. I will dude. kill him. Brian Eno. Mullet man. Come on. Yeah, it's the best. It's, All it's, that 80s guitaring. Wah, 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 wah. For me, it's got... Like, yeah, the worms, when they're jumping on the worms, you're just hearing, meow, man, ear. It's just like, you want to throw up your fucking, like, your there fucking you go. rock-ons and ride that worm. So, the the worm hook was awesome. I did not picture the worm dude, hook it's that got, way. Dude, it's a shovel the with maker, forks? I because, love that. Because in the book, you have to peel back the worm skin so the worms get a little uncomfortable, and that's how you drive them. Um, they use hooks in the books. They, they use hooks they in the books. Hooks and they look in the books. Um, but... There was a lot of things about the movie that just fell flat for me. There were some great things that were done. I I will tell you, a I was pictured the Baron as like waddling with his suspensors. Him flying at you at full speed is way more terrifying. That was a way more terrifying yeah. ba- Baron. I'm coming, I'm coming for your hot blood. But I also didn't get the sense that he's a genius. In the book, he's a fucking genius, and he's a criminal genius. He's the kingpin. But in the movie, he's just a floating maniac to me. So yeah. I, I actually love the I portrayal. Gotta shut up now. I love the portrayal in the movie because it fits with the movie. All right, it, you're right. It's not the right portrayal for the Baron, but the movie is so out of this world that the pustules and the that that actor was so sinister. When you watch the movie, you're going to have a really hard time not picturing him as the Baron. It, it fits in so well with David Lynch's, like, it's obviously David Lynch's vision. And what the movie needed was more time. Um, my complaints are, I didn't like the Ornithopters. Not yeah, a good design. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, there's some real bad special effects. Um, that's not a fault the of the shields. movie. They, they the, the shields. The shields. They, they, um, in, in the book, they have these uh, personal shields. And they're real bad. Real bad. I, well, uh, I mean, you get the idea, but they're CG uh, coffins. Yeah, they're they're, 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 they're <laughs> it's not good. There there are some problems with the film, but overall, like for me, it's such a childhood fixture. I saw it before I read the books. Yeah, and I I still see oh. some of the characters. Furthermore, that Fra- uh, uh, Frank Herbert's real only complaint with the movie he he really enjoyed the movie and he was heavily involved in uh in, in its process. He just didn't like at the end. How Paul Atreides made it rain. He made it rain. If I may, real we quick, real rain. quick, before we get into that, because because Brengineer uh, put this in here, uh, Frank Herbert said, "As far as I'm concerned, the film is a visual feast." And I think what what yes. Frank, I think what Frank Herbert loved about the movie is that it had the spirit of Dune. It had the spirit of imagination and creativity, and I think that's what he loved about the movie. I, it, well, and I'm not gonna lie, like like my complaints were not necessarily the effects. I get it; it's the '80s. It's fine, and. I mean the Harkonnens. They had the 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 the, the te- plugs. They they had the techno world. They were kind of Ixian Harkonian blends. But my my biggest thing was some of the 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 story. They didn't even bring up the Butlerian Jihad. And there's plenty of time talking in the beginning. They they gave away the uh, space guild shocker right away. But. I mean, I will say there were some things that was like super cool. Like the worms were fucking cool, bro. Um, when they go into the Fremen uh, cisterns or whatever, and they've oh, got all so that good. water and it's black. Dude, the and speeches it just goes given forever. there will live on in your memory forever. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Kyle McLaughlin, you're my shit. I still yeah. see you as Paul Atreides, dude. And I Even fu- though you're too old. 
It's Dude, fine. yeah, no, he was a great Paul, and he made he was he acted like a boy in the beginning, and then when he had to like pick his mom out of the sand while she's like weeping, he became like he totally changed. He Which became is, a man, he, and he, he totally became changed. Tang ready. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he, he had became his tang's, tangs worthy. He put his shit eating still suit on. Yeah, and he went to Tang. You write that name up on the chalkboard for next Thursday night because he's showing up. I mean, little man. Max von Sydow is in this movie. The cast, the, yeah, cast, the cast is incredible. Is, dude, still Dreamer work tone that will is always fighter. be Stillgar. That you will always, always be Stillgar for me. Yeah, he was a good Stillgar. Again, Sean Young. Chani, what's up, girl? Call me out on Duncan. Doing this. Like you can call me with the I feel Duncan had Duncan had the attitude, but I was like, dude, you're just you're just yeah, a flexible white he, guy. Yeah, he was. He had that. He had that lovely unibrow. Yeah, that that strokeable unibrow that just like betrayed all of his emotion. Um, gosh, what was the other thing? Dude, they, the scene where we have to see Thade for just a minute in his metal dog. Oh, just stand there. There's like no dude. reason for that scene dude. other no, than no, no, to no, no, give Sting beautiful. a moment to show yeah. off his fucking he's, killer he's, abs. He's standing there glistening with sweat, right? Glistener. With his, ha- with his hands sitting above his metal diaper, and there's steam behind him. And as he shows up, the guitar goes, Wee! Wee! And, and then the, the you go you go for it. And then the Baron's like all sweaty, and he's looking at him. It's this is his like his this is like his nephew, and he's like sweet. Beautiful fade. Beautiful fade. And then <laughs> enters Bear, uh, uh, Beast Raban, who's this like total thug. Just eating he snaps, chicken. <laughs> he snaps the tongue Out of off, a, of this, uh, off of this or ox, this hanging cow for yeah. some reason, just starts munching on it. Dude, this movie's just disgusting it's and disgusting. amazing. Well, and I mean, in the book, you would know that like at that point, the Baron's like, oh, well, he's going to need his own suspenser soon, that let, fucking fat. Let me impart yeah. this on you guys. The movie... Don't listen to either of us, okay? <laughs> we love it. We love it for so many reasons: nostalgia and just the, just the first thing you see and just blowing your mind. Inks likes it for some of the things, but he's got a lot of qualms because he's read the book and he, he knows the technical issues. But he still loves the eighties. I'm too on. old to love it. Um, like show it to your kids. I'm I'm too old to love it like I should. But I will. If you say- haven't, if you haven't, sorry, if you haven't, si- if you haven't watched it, sit down in a dark room. Don't have your fucking. If you have to watch the movie, I was drawing the whole time, Don't. and Tapes knows it. Damn, Tapes I is looking at me. I knew I was it. Drawing. I knew you were drawing. I was drawing the whole you time. You bastard! You were drawing. drawing dwarves. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't watch any commentaries. No. Don't. Just, I didn't do no any of that. No comments. Just watch the it. The soundtrack. The the video. You watch the movie. You enjoy what, what you, you see. see. Yeah. So real quick, <laughs> but before we wrap up here. Um, I that's, want to give you guys old dad Bringineer. I want to give you guys the Renato because this is why I fucked up. This is where this came from. Here it is, boom. Boom. Oh, oh that's God. right. And that's great. That's 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 the that's the the separation I, between oh. the Trades and the Harkonnen. You get the idea that boom, these are warring houses. Look at Jessica it. is fully bald now because she's so wicked smart. Um, from being a Benny Jesuit. I don't super love the background, the I, the tunnel. It's just sort of. Oh, I, I love know. it, dude! Look, it's dude. Look at the the soda car coming down. Oh my god, he's got the fucking yeah, he's got the know. fucking uh, coffee mug gun. At, I feel like there should be a worm coiling up behind him. Oh, or something. dude, look at the look at fucking Fade. Look at sweet delicious Fade. <laughs> he's so oh, But guys, dude. like, look at the Fade. This is. Uh, he's got full anime hair. The detail. The detail on this on this painting, is, fucking Renato, is you fucking killed it, bro. Dude. You did great work. And uh, I gotta say, like, I, I love the original, but I, I probably still love it more than this. <laughs> but dude, the the fade here with this, and I love the dude at the bottom. <laughs> this just gives this this gives me eggplant. It, it's it's great. It, eggplants me hard. Big good. black swan. The eggplant. movie is not as bad as everyone says. Who says it's bad? Who says that movie's bad? A little, it's not a bad movie! Maybe you've heard Better of him. Better than the sci-fi original. Maybe you've heard yeah. of him. His name is Jordarski. He says it's bad. You know what? We're going to come back to you, Jordarski. Jordarski's Dune. We spent a lot of time Duning. We're, yeah. Guys, we got to say- be done Duning for I'm the, we gotta be done. I will say, I'm the only jordarski at this point. You guys got to watch that batshit documentary. But it never see, happened. It never happened, and I'm actually kind of glad, and we'll talk about that on a later date. <laughs> Let's put it this way. this is important. The next time we do Dune, most likely the next movie will be out, and that's going to be exciting. Yes. We're going to have some shit to talk about. Yes. It'll that's what brought awesome. this all on. Uh, real quick, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you go on, like us, subscribe to us. If you don't, that's fine. Maybe you listen to this episode, and you're like, these guys suck. Great. Leave us a comment. Tell us why. Give us your comments. Give us your likes. Uh, check out our Instagram. You can go to our website, CoverDecoder.com. And if you actually are hurting for some cover episodes early, 
go there and subscribe there because when I put the episodes on there, they usually show up earlier than the tunes or the Googs. Yeah, you want that hot breakfast you before that, anyone yeah, else? You come to the back door, yeah. baby. It's three in the morning. You're up. You don't know why. You're sweating. You're thinking about sweet fade. Yeah, you yes, get a <laughs> delicious thing. Give us your covers, good or bad. Uh, we're gonna do an episode. We're gonna randomly pick some. Just remember, here's the, here's the, my war- here's my disclosure. Give us if, juice. If you haven't figured out yet, if you submit a cover and you're like, this is my favorite cover. It's the best thing I've ever done. We be, might shit be on warned. It. We sh- we might shit on we, your cover. That's right. So if you don't feel comfortable with that, don't give us your cover. No, don't give it to us. Give us your cover. Give us your cover because we shit Just on things with the, out of Just don't come crying to us because we don't got an ear for you. Dude, yeah, we're we in the bookhouse now are covered in shit from how much we've shat on each other. Oh. We shit on each other's darlings all the time. Look, we're all bros here. Crack a beer. Give us your cover and join us on the next. Boom. Cover decoder. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Cover decoder. Out in space, a rackus is the place. Covered in sand where the worms give chase. Spice is king, and it's not just for fun. Helps the space guild fight in more ways than one. On Doom, always feels like June. Yeah, Doom, better pray for monsoons. On Doom. Our hero, his name is Paul Atreides He's got more skills than the Benny Gesserit ladies Left on the desert to watch his daddy die He had to save his water so he couldn't even cry On Doom Got multiple moods on Doom Spice eating with the spoon On Doom Well the Freeman found Paul and called him Mahdi He led a worm attack across the sand sea Killed the Harkin and it took the Emperor's throne The Freeman went to the stars to make his name known Riding worms with a tune, yeah, dude. He's a spice tycoon, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Dude.